Hey there and welcome back in. Today we're going to be visiting some of the final resting places of some famous and notable Nevadans here at the Mountain View Cemetery here in Reno, including a television personality, some casino pioneers, and some historic politicians. Mountain View Cemetery was founded in 1871 and was originally located at the corner of 4th and Keystone near downtown Reno. This is now the location of Ben's Fine Wine and Spirits. Isn't it ironic that the location of an old graveyard is now Ben's Fine Wine and Spirits? Here's the final resting place of Don Wells known to most people as the actress who portrayed Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island. She graduated from Reno High School and was crowned Miss Nevada in 1959 and represented Nevada in the Miss America pageant. She passed away at age 82 in 2020 and is interred next to her mother. Fun fact about Gilligan's Island, that lagoon, and oh, I should say that if you remember Gilligan's Island and that lagoon, then you're dating yourself. Uh, but that lagoon was built next to the soundstage in L.A. where they filmed. And in the ending credits, if you look closely, you're supposed to be able to see a corner of the soundstage or one of the sound stages behind the palm trees. This plot is the final resting place of members of the Smith family. And we could also call this the Herald's Club plot as these folks were the founders and owners of that hugely influential casino that helped to make Reno famous across the country. Raymond I. Smith was the boss and the main public face of Harold's Club. After people get, began to refer to him as the old man, he said, look, I'm really not that old. If you want to call me something, call me Pappy. Harold's Club was founded by his two sons, Harold and Raymond. After a rough start to their casino, they invited Pappy to come and to be the general manager, which he did for the rest of his life. He passed away in 1967. Harold's Club was named after this gentleman, Harold S. Smith Sr. Harold was a flamboyant promoter of Harold's Club, a consummate gambler, and inventor of many of the gimmicks that the club used to draw in customers. He passed away in 1985. Also buried here are Raymond A., Harold's brother and co-founder of Harold's Club, Harold Smith Jr., who was also very involved in the operation of the club, and several wives and relatives. I can imagine that the family picked this lot in 1967 to just let Pappy continue watching over his business. If you'd like to get a copy of the Herald's Club documentary I produced, I'll put a link in the comments or in the description. Some distance away from the Smiths is C.C. Pounding. If you saw our Historic Hood episode, You'll recall that C.C. Pounding was the originator of the Pounding's Edition subdivision in downtown Reno. Starting life as an orphaned paper boy, he was very active in early Reno and was the president of the Reno Water, Land, and Light Company and the owner and editor of the Nevada State Journal newspaper. He passed away at 46 years old in 1898. If you've driven anywhere in Reno, you'll recognize this name. Our Ring Road, McCarran Boulevard, was named after Pat McCarran, who was an influential senator for the state of Nevada for over 20 years, from 1933 to 1954. The airport in Las Vegas was named McCarran International Airport for many years until it was recently renamed for Senator Harry Reid. McCarran also served on the Nevada Supreme Court early in his career. He passed away in office in 1954. The city of Sparks, Nevada, is named after John Sparks, who was Nevada's 10th governor from 1902 until 1908, when he died in office. Sparks was a cattleman and had a 1,600-acre ranch in the Steamboat Springs area, just south of Reno. The home that he lived in at the ranch still survives and was relocated in 1978 on Old 395 between Reno and Carson City. Vale Pittman was the 19th governor of Nevada from 1945 to 1951 and is interred next to his brother Key Pittman, who was a longtime Nevada state senator. Both men were direct descendants of Francis Scott Key, the composer of our national anthem. 
There are a couple other governors here. Emmett Boyle was Nevada's 13th governor, the first Nevada-born governor, the first graduate of the University of Nevada to become governor, and the youngest to hold office at 35 years old. Frederick Balzar was the 15th governor of Nevada, and it was he who in 1931 signed Assembly Bill 98, which legalized gambling in the state of Nevada. George Nixon was a United States Senator, and the town of Nixon, Nevada is named for him. You can see Nixon's former three-story mansion on the bluff across the Truckee River from Riverside Drive. The mansion had a horrific fire in the late 1970s, but it has been carefully restored and it was recently on the market. Charlie Mapes was the man behind the Art Deco Mapes Hotel, which opened in 1947 and at the time was the tallest building in the state. This hotel ruled supreme in Reno during the 1950s and 1960s, and luminaries that either stayed there or played there include Marilyn Monroe, Clark Gable, Sammy Davis Jr., Judy Garland, Tony Bennett, and Liberace. The Mapes wasn't able to compete with newer and more modern casinos and closed in 1982. It sat vacant for 18 years and had several ownership changes. It was imploded in the year 2000 amid the protests of its historians and the community at large. Jesse L. Beck was affectionately known as Reno's Gambling Grandma. She was hired as a dealer by Pappy Smith at a diner in Texas when Pappy passed through and was impressed by her ability to calculate numbers in her head. She married Fred Beck, who owned the poker, horse racing, and kino concessions at Harold's Club. After his death, she continued to operate the Beck Corporation for 16 years. She famously stood up to Howard Hughes after he had purchased Harold's Club, and she negotiated a fair sale value of their business. She later used those proceeds to purchase the Riverside Hotel Casino. The place had been vacant for years, and she considered it a big gamble, especially because she was almost 70 years old at the time. She ran it for 15 years until she finally retired at age 83 in 1986. A couple other folks of note. John Kavanaugh Sr. was the owner of the Mitzpah Hotel in Tonopah for 18 years and was the co-owner of both Calneva Casinos, Reno and Lake Tahoe. Proctor R. Hug was a state senator, Washoe County School Superintendent, and the namesake of Hug High School. Lyle Ball was a prolific Nevada artist and was also the owner of Ball Sign Company, which produced advertising signs for Harold's Club in the early days. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed our time today here at the Mountain View Cemetery, and I hope that you've met some interesting people. I probably miss some of you that you know. There's 50,000 souls up there, which is the size of a small city. So if there is, again, someone that you think I missed or you want to give a shout out to somebody, please leave a message in the comments. And today we are at Wonder Ale Works in downtown, well, in Midtown Reno, which is kind of close to downtown Reno. It's a newly revitalized area with a lot of cool bars and shops and eateries. Uh, Wonder Ale Works has been here for about a year and today I'm enjoying a barrel-aged Irish stout which is a little higher alcohol and a great breakfast beer. So if you haven't clicked that subscribe button please do. It lets us know that you're alive and we'll continue making episodes for you here very soon. So as Harold Smith Sr. of Harold's Club always said, I'm with you. Cheers! <laughs>